How's it going, everyone? Today we have a mail day from our good friend Tim at Incardinito Sports Cards. I'll put his channel information right here. Definitely check it out. Love the live streams. Him and Maiden's World of Wax, they go live on Wednesdays on Tim's channel. Put the link in the description. They also go live on Maiden's channel on Sundays. And I'll also put the live for this one as well for the COG after party. Uh, I've been a guest on Maiden's channel and I'll be a guest on Tim's channel sometime in the very near future. And uh, this is certainly one of the things I love most about the hobby, the fact that I've met so many great people. Uh, this is a giveaway from his 2,000 subscriber giveaway. Um, he's probably close to 2,500. I haven't checked. He might be over that. Just a huge milestone to hit. And, um, you know, it's great to see all of our channels growing. All right, so let's, let's go ahead and open up the box. There should be a couple of cards that I did win. Um, extremely generous giveaway. Thank you very much to Tim at Incard Needle Sports Cards. Super appreciative of anything I receive from other collectors in the community. All right, wow, look, look at how this is packed. This is amazing. Bubble wrap on bubble wrap on some bubble wrap. <laughs> Great job of packaging. This is awesome. Uh, note here. Hey, Aaron, congratulations on the wins. I've included a few extras I hope you like. Thank you for the support on the channel. You know, it's my pleasure. I think your channel is amazing. Love the live streams. And um, love what you do for the community. What a great live stream you and Maiden. All right, feels like a couple slabs in this first one. So we'll just go ahead and do the reveal. Let's see what this is. All right, check this out. 92 score Canadian Martin Brodeur. Mint 9. And a nice PSA slab. Beautiful card. Um, I own very few slabs. This might be the 15th or so slabs. I think this might be a topic of discussion when I do go on to Tim's live. So, cool to get a slab. Something I don't have a whole lot of in my collection. And it's going to be of a Hall of Famer, Martin Brodeur. Um, I'm just getting into hockey, so I think this is a great pickup. A card that I certainly... Do not have yet, and it's in very nice condition. You gotta love those PSA slabs. So beautiful card there. Thank you so very much, Tim. What a great giveaway win right there. All right, we'll look at the second card. I believe this is another slab win right here. Check this one out. This is the Beckett slab, BCCG, I believe. Check out this Metal Universe Paul Molitor from 1997 Fleer Metal Universe. So what a beautiful card. Uh, metal is one of my favorite sets. I did not collect baseball cards in this era. I was primarily focused on basketball. So I remember this design with Michael Jordan. I believe Tim Duncan as well in that 97, 98 set. But man, I love the Fleer Metal set. This is one of the sets I grew up collecting. So this was my second pick. Um, and again, thank you very much for this card. Beautiful card there. I went ahead and took out all the cards from the team bags, but wow, look at this. Just an amazing gift. Um, looks like about 70 or so cards in here. All current and former Raiders. A lot of them. Really awesome ones. Jay Schroeder, some pro set. Wisniewski, his son played in the NFL for a while. I believe is a tight end. Might have even played for the Raiders, too, at some point. Steve Wisniewski, Art Shell, longtime Raiders coach before they had a falling out. Howie Long, one of the great defensive ends for the Raiders. All right, who is this? Willie Galt, I believe. Yes, Willie Galt. A little bit before my time, but another great receiver for the Raiders. Or Art Shell, Howie Long. Dan Mosbar, nice one. Uh, Marinovich, another one of Raiders quarterbacks. Yeah, and didn't quite pan out from what I remember. Again, just a little bit before my time. Jeff Jager, our kicker. We've had some good kickers. Jager was pretty good by, from what my memory serves. Uh, Steve Smith, running back. A few others. There's another Wisniewski. 
Yeah, all the players from the 90s, man. What great. Some of the Raiders greats right here. Um, and then even some current Raiders. Perryman, Edwards, Brian Edwards, Kenyon Drake. I, I think a lot of these guys may not play for the Raiders anymore, but some do. Some have managed to stick around a little longer, like Hunter Renfro. Love this guy. One of my favorite players to watch on the Raiders. Devontae Adams, that's a tandem. Chandler Jones, I think a free agent pickup. I don't think he lasted very long, if my memory serves me correctly. There we go. Probably the best Raider right now, Max Crosby. This guy is such a beast. One of my favorite players to watch. The player I watch on the Raiders defense, Carlson. Yep, we've had some great kickers. Howie Long, yep. You know, if you get a card printed in 2022, you must have been memorable and good. But, um, yeah, some of the other ones. Even Darren Waller um, had a few good years for us. Ooh, Charles Barkley. 92 upper deck. Do I have this one? I think I do, but look at this. Not in this condition. These are beautiful cards. Oh, man, thank you so very much, Tim. This is awesome. Tim Brown, yeah, another Raiders great right there. Tim Brown, Renfro, Derek Carr, and um, yeah, kind of get the point. Morig, Let's see if there's any other players that I haven't seen yet. Zamir White, it's another pretty good one. Ooh, this one could be a sleeper. He had quite a couple of good games towards the end of our year. If I'm a player I'm thinking of, um, anything else in here? Yeah, all the Raiders, Waller. Willie Gall, too. That's a nice one. I don't think I have this card. Great image. Another Howie Long. 91 Upper Deck. I don't remember this design. I don't think I have very many cards in it. Here's a very cool action-packed Roger Craig. Um, you could say he's in the wrong uniform. <laughs> I remember him more with the Niners. His career definitely with the Niners and those Super Bowl teams with Joe Montana. But there's another good one. Ooh, yeah, some Charles Barkley's. Let's look through this. I don't think I have some of these. I don't have this one. There's a 92 upper deck. I might have this one. I think I have these. Ooh, I might not have this one. So, awesome. Some Charles Barkley's. I know these aren't... These are fairly common ones. So, good to add a few more to my collection. As I mentioned, Charles Barkley has always been my favorite player. Uh, favorite player to watch growing up. Well, they're the Michael Jordan, I suppose, but yeah, some good ones in here. So nice little stack of Charles Barkley's. And then also here are a few top loaded cards. Um, I believe Tim asked me whether, you know, what players I collect for my personal collection. I'm definitely looking for players with Hawaii ties. So Al Noga, one of the great defensive linemen for the University of Hawaii. Had several brothers who played for the team in the 80s. And uh, yeah, great pro Al Noga right there. There's a couple of them for the Vikings. Great card. College Hawaii, third round draft pick in 88. Uh, big rivalry for Hawaii, BYU. Uh, and Hawaii was quite a good football team in the 80s. Uh, plenty of plenty of memorable games I can think of. Anything Hawaii versus BYU, Hawaii Air Force, big time player for us. Him and his brothers, lots of his brothers played for the University of Hawaii. So cool to see some pro cards. Al Noga there. Who is this? Um, Sarah Tualo. Um, very cool. I'm not sure. What is Hawaii ties? I'm guessing he grew up in Hawaii, yeah, played for Oregon State, but that's pretty typical. Uh, there's a big Mormon crowd here in Hawaii, so you'll actually find that a lot of our best players locally will play for teams like, um, especially BYU and uh, Oregon State. All right, and then here we have Dan Salimua, nose tackle for the Chiefs. I think he played for a couple other teams. Um, I think he's one of the great Polynesian players. So a couple of very cool personal collection cards here. Thank you very much, Tim. Love them all. Really appreciate this. This is an amazing little package that was put together. 
Got plenty of Raiders cards. I don't collect a whole lot of football. Certainly a bunch of these will find their way into my collections. That's a great one. So that was a mail day. Some really cool cards. Um, again, once again, shout out to Tim at Incarnito Sports Cards. I will be on the show today. So definitely check that out. The live streams with him and Maiden's World of Wax are amazing when they do it on Wednesday on Tim's channel and on Sundays on Maiden's World of Wax. Um, anyhow, hope to see you guys there. Hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, thank you for watching.